And the first thing I want to investigate is what I call the uh, perceived personality, which is the, the observed personality. My personality is other people see it as I'm teaching the yoga class. And you know, they will get that idea about my personality from watching me, um, from watching me walking, watching me sitting, watching me uh, standing, uh, my gestures, my eyes, my voice, the, the way I turn my head, they will watch that. And they will, how I use my hands, they will uh, get an idea about my personality from that. So the first uh, thing I want to uh, discover about myself is my observed or perceived personality as others see it. The second one is energy. Imagine that you're waiting in a rock concert, but the, the concert has not started yet. And the whole 10,000 people are waiting together with you for the rock band to arrive, right? So at the beginning, it's just, you know, uh, the, the expectations and people travel from far away to arrive and, and finally the, the rock band should appear. So the whole place is pumping and the people are like, Let's say the band is U2, okay? Uh, one of my favorites. U2, U2, you bow, no, bow, no, U2. And finally the U2 appears. Now, the way the U2 are gonna make an entrance on a stage, you know, with this kind of uh, atmosphere, with this kind of vibration, that's the energy that they have to have to present upon entering the stage. The energy of the teacher that I promote is energy of being aware and relaxed at the same time. Relaxed but aware. So in that state, I'm able to uh, watch myself. I'm able to observe myself teaching. As I am teaching, I'm able to observe myself teaching and I am able to monitor my energy and I'm able to make adjustments as I observe, adjusting the material that I teach, the what I teach and how I teach, I can be adjusting, as well as I'm able to adjust based on the feedback that I am every second of my yoga class receiving from the students. Right? So that state of being relaxed and aware allows me to adjust the material and adjust myself teaching that material based on the present moment observation of what is happening right in front of me when I teach the class. Now, I don't want, it's important to say that I don't want to observe myself too much, okay? If I'm looking at myself too much when I'm teaching, I will get quite stiff and quite um, perhaps uh, too stiff and not relaxed. So keeping myself relaxed and keeping that observation in balance is the important thing. And that's something you can practice as you teach the yoga class. I'm hoping to achieve a kind of uh, self, a kind of myself that is relaxed and aware or attentive that is uplifting that is energizing but at the same time calm so you could say it's calm and passionate right there has to be the passion of teaching that has to come out but also it needs to be done very often in a calm um, relaxed assertive strong but also flexible kind of way I would like to promote the part of me the self as I am that is kind, compassionate and loving. This way my teaching will thrive, not only my classes will thrive, uh, improve, but my teaching will improve and if I am wanting to be a more kind, compassionate and loving teacher,